Alrighty, after a hefty wait in round one, we find ourselves with a risky keep. We're a bit low on blue sources. With double blue at that, but I'm willing to risk it. We're on the draw. Uh, boy, I have a terrible craving for ice cream and I'm out. It's going to be a late night run to the grocery store. Ooh, a mountain. Well, we got that off our checklist. Now, show me island. I have a gut feeling we're going to miss it. Get that taken care of. So I want a three-drop white flyer or a island. I'll be happy with either of those. What, what are you doing? Don't click that. Yeah. Even if I get tricked out, I'm fine with that. What's his follow-up? I don't know if it was... Why would he throw away his Cathar? He wants creatures in his graveyard that badly? Blue! Well, that's not enough to skillful lunge or anything. So that sucks. Rack does not take care of a scab. But not too concerned about a scab. More concerned about this. Uh, this. Headless scab. It all makes sense now. This card's a beater. Big fan of it. Blue. All right. We can kind of go tit for tat for a bit. Be slightly behind, but we're both kind of getting hosed on lands. Uh, I take that back. Alrighty. This game is not off to a good start. Fortunately, the clock isn't too spectacular. Land, or it's gonna hurt. Ouch. Do you feel the pain? I'll crack them back. The fox does prevent one damage for us. And I can get rid of the claustrophobia at any moment. So next round I could block, sack, and crack back. Regardless, we take three here. Hopefully he comes up dry, which he does. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I think we'll just play a Niblis. We could take three, go to ten. Him, start hitting him for three. No, I think I just want to have a tapper in play. That'll negate all damage if this sticks around. You could have a bonds or another claustrophobia, but that'll just mean that we go to ten. Alright. So I imagine this fellow picked up all the Sitch Drakes and makeshift Maulers. None so far. He took our Cathar. Yep, take another three. Set up our stop. Uh, another blue mana would be ideal here. I suppose that's okay. So we can take some more damage, but we would get our heron out. We can block and sack it this turn. 
Or we can just tap it down. Yeah, I think we can take a little bit more damage here. Get out some some offense. And since we're not gonna be tapping, might as well get in for two. That's fine. So I think we've seen the best he's got so far. I'll trade if he wants to. Seven's acceptable. Spirit's pretty good. I'll take it. The flyers are coming now. So moon heron beats. Or not. Alright. Slow this down a tad, but not the end of the world. He is out of tricks. So we'll just be tapping this sucker down. And make any blocks we need to. Yes, I would. Yeah, I got first strike, bud. Alright, he figured out that his attacks aren't good. There's our moon heron. So we can take another three or just get in for two. Yeah, I think I'll just get in for two here. I'll wait on lands. Could play a Heron, but I don't want to go down to four. He is blue white, so he doesn't have a whole lot of ways to get in, but I want to keep a good buffer because I think we did pass a feeling of dread. Alright, that's decent. So I could bust a trick here, but I think I'll just trade away the soldier. And I could get my other flyer online, but I think the fox is, he's doing a fine job. Priest is pretty good. So now fox is probably going to be leaving our company for him a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably block and sack. Get the human off the board. And then our priest can tap down the ghoul. Or hmm. Whatever, they're just having my chapel geist. Yeah, I think I just want to take three. Yeah, I want to block and sack. I would like to have that value. We need a mana to tap, a mana to tap, and two mana to sack. So we're going to tap, tap the flyer. Block and sack, yeah. That's what we shall do. Two damage return. So 
So we're going to take one. Or not. But I've had enough of the chapel guys being locked down. Yeah, a second blue would be pretty good for us. We could sit on our counters and pretty much hold this game down. Yeah, I like two here. Wonder what's in his hand. So we could tap tap get in for four, five, six, seven, not enough. So I think I'll just get in for the the two. Play a moon heron and have our priest to tap he's had a big old grip the entire game is this where he brings on the coup d'etat feeling dread flashback for the win Nope, he had garbage. Hard to believe. So, anything we want to bring in. Our old pal Spectral Flight. The rig's pretty good. I'll drop their loss in the mad, loss in the mist for the flight. Keep our aggressive attitude alive. Spectral Flight's growing on me. Alrighty, another shitastic opening hand. Uh, do I want to get in that situation again? We do have some strong turn three plays if we can hit land. Yeah, I suppose. He's not too fast. Except this game. Show me blue. Show me red. I had a strong urge to mulligan there. I'm, I went. I went against my gut. Well, that's that's good news. Maybe he kept a one land. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, he's curving out nicely. Smite the monstrous. Gonna need a land, preferably blue. Not surprising. Probably lead with the voiceless spirit on the off chance this flips. We can get it without a trade. Don't flip this turn though, please. Rave of Revelation. Maybe sh probably should have brought that in. We saw, what is it, two claustrophobias? Miss a land drop? Can you do that for me? No. Don't play a don't play a spell. Try that on. Ooh, not gonna get that either. All right, scab's not too frightening. There's our mountain. Not too shabby. Lead with the spirit. Kills the flip delver. Removal sucks either way. Well, Griptide, that'll do it. 
So we can get in for six, dropping us to ten. Resets our land draw clock. Yeah, he's had plays every turn. If he's got removal again, we're going to be a hurting unit. And if he doesn't, we take three, dropping a seven, but he loses his, his human insect. Can you, let's have a miss. Okay, that's good for us. And just the one. That's fine. Blue mana! Well, did you look at there? Blame out the Geist. And I'm unsure if I want to make this a 4-3 or not. Either way, not swinging in. I think I'd let 2 through. Oh no. Well, now we're faced with a choice. You can only kill one of our guys. Nibbles is next to useless. We're going to play our Pitchburn Devil, so I think we just take out the flyer here. And Pitchburn Devil is going to make his swings pretty difficult. I think I want the Geist around rather than the, the Spirit. But going on a six isn't terrible. Sad thing is, I don't think we have any artifact removal. We haven't seen Feeling of Dread or Silent Departure. So his removal suit could be a little lacking. So let's get our Pritch Burn Devil out there. Certainly not attacking anytime soon. We gotta try to stabilize. So as far as blocks, we're gonna take one from the armored scaff. If something's all out, Let me get him here and take that away. But any tricks are gonna be devastating to us. More and more creatures we could probably deal with. I think next turn is looking like Nibbles plus. Alright, Scab's pretty good here. Yeah, I think we just have to get our Divination up there. Get some card draw. So we can uh, eventually Harvest Pyre. Rig's pretty good. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any flyers. So we're going to Nibbles. And we're going to be eating some damage this turn, but he's going to have to lose something to get some damage in. Play our land. So I think I will... Oh, boy. That is not a card we wanted to see. Yeah, I think we, we have to block here just to kill that Scarecrow. And he's getting after it. So, we'll block here. Block there. Drop us a three. And he'll be able to make a token, so we're going to have... This will still be around, but we tap that. We'll have our Chapel Geist to block here. And we take two damage, dropping us to one. We'll also have Harvest Pyre. And 
Yeah, I think we gotta do that. More than the hunts. That's a big game. That's gonna be difficult to deal with. We don't benefit too much from doing this, but we're gonna have to get rid of it. Maybe we should have uh, finished off the scab and just harvest pired the scarecrow. That probably would have been better. Play a flyer. Play a flyer, please. Because I think, regardless of what he plays, we have to run out of rig next turn. Alright. Bell ringer it is. So we can run out Fox. Have Harvest Pyre on lockdown. Let's tap our mana. Whoop. Ease of access center. Oh, Make God. your computer easier to use. You can use the tools in this section to there help you get stuck. Get out of here. So anyway, my player Fox. So we can tap that down. Block here. Have Harvest Pyre as an option. Tap. Block. Block. Take one, go to two. It looks like we're committed now. And if he does play something big and scary, we can bone dash it. And still have our tap down. So we take two damage. There's still one. I kind of want to counter just to get value. Just for the draw card. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. There we go. That's a good card to draw. Oh shit! I forgot our stop. That's devastating. So we gotta throw away our fox now. And go to one. Foolish. And then we're gonna have to start worrying about Moreland Haunt tokens. We made this a little harder on ourselves just now. But Elgod, he'll help. Alright. So we can Elgod. Torch, equip, and have mana to tap. I think that's better than rigging away a spirit. Torches, yes, 1-1. One, one. So we got a big old human. A big old scab. I don't want Elgod to die yet. So I think I'm going to let the Geist die. And just not worry about spirit tokens that much. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just there, huh? He's gonna force my hand. I could double block and sack the torch to kill it. I gain a little life off that. But I use up all my tricks. Otherwise, I just lose my geist, though, so... I think I gotta... It's a bit of a two-for-one on myself, but... Desperate times with the whole nibbless mistrigger. Would very much like to keep Elgod around. Oh god. Inquisitor. Certainly a lesson how to make the game tough on you. But we kind of lucked out with the rig here. Him playing a flyer. So say good night. Yes, I would. So we can get in for one damage. Or trade with the spirit. He's got a buttload of critters in the yard. Nineteen. It's a start. I'm gonna probably lessen my commentary and start playing a little quicker. I wanna get my clock above his in case this goes to a game three. Yeah, let's tap that sucker down. Get the stitchers out. Got a big old harvest pyre. And I'm going to start cracking away. Got to start getting this done sometime. And maybe he'll just start using the bump these as chump blockers. That's one way to get rid of his graveyard. Yes, the auto yield has commenced. Oh, can never forget to do that. Just doing it now. All right. Soul Caesar's a nice draw. It's gonna be guys catch your chump blocks for a while. See why he could let it through a couple times and just build up his fleet. Now you have two attackers. May get out of this yet. Even with our, our misplay of missing that uh combat step. Feeling a dread. That's bad. Thankfully, it's only going to be one use. That is going to eat a harvest pyre. So, he's going to tap down... Yeah, I think we just burn it. We have no real graveyard interaction. And since he's tapped out, we can't... He doesn't have a faith shield option. Or anything like that. So 
So with Feeling of Dread in mind, if we swing here and here, he can tap down our two flyers and hit us for one. Yeah, it's not horrible. I think I'll just keep lessening his forces as much as I can. Probably take the scab, if given the option. Ooh, but we get four damage in now. Now we're making headway. Mind Shrieker. That might be worth Rack of Madness. But I'll give him the option to just chump block it away. Or he'll probably get fancy and make a spirit. So, probably gonna have to rack it. Maybe I should even do it before, and he could kill my Geist Catcher if he does block. And I don't want to be getting milled. He can end the game with it, so I'll just take care of it now. Yeah, he just wants to mill us a little bit. So, if he doesn't make a token, look like we're going to get a, a headless scab. Which isn't even that good, considering he has armored scab on the field. Alright, so there goes his trick. That's good. One less thing to worry about. So yeah, no reason not to get in for three here. We have access to creating another chump blocker by sacking something and tapping down. Cathar is not too big of an issue. Still has a buttload of creatures we gotta work through. One. Well, maybe not too much. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Quite a few. Moon Heron. You know, turn up the aggressive meter a little, little bit. So I'm planning on blocking if he swings in. Might lose my stitchers if he sacks, which I'm fine with. Yes. So if he makes a spirit and sacks, he could kill my moon heron. So since he has cards in his hand, I'm not willing to, you know, tap the spirit down and swing for it all. So I think I'll continue just to pace myself. Get in with these guys since they can't die. And he's forced to block, otherwise, it is lethal. So 
So yeah, he's going to sack. And he's going to have a flyer, but our board presence is just superior. I mean, feeling a dread is still going to bone us. If it comes to that. But I think we have enough ways to play around it. If he taps here and here, then we're forced to make a homunculus right off the bat, and then you could tap those down. That'd be a pretty good smash. Nope. Alrighty. Long one, but we got it. I'll see you for round three.